हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम अशोक सनोडिया एंड आई वेलकम यू बैक इन योर ओन ऑर्गेनिक गार्डनिंग चैनल फ्रेंड्स प्रोनिंग ऑफ द प्लांट्स एंड ट्रीज हैव मेनी बेनिफिट्स बिकॉज इट नॉट ओनली इंक्रीज द न्यू ग्रोथ बट आल्सो इंप्रूव द ओवरऑल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड ट्रीज एंड एट द टाइम ऑफ प्रोनिंग वी मस्ट फॉलो द राइट प्रोसीजर अदरवाइज द रॉन्ग प्रोसीजर कैन नॉट ओनली अफेक्ट द ओवरऑल ग्रोथ ऑफ द प्लांट्स बट इन सम केसेज द प्लांट एंड ट्री कैन डाई ऑल्सो so in today's video we are going to explain about some of the most important tips of pruning process which we must follow at the time of doing this so please see this video till the end for knowing the complete information so friends first of all we would like to start by explaining that what is pruning process and what are its benefit so that you can easily understand the whole concept pruning process is the process of cutting the dry and overgrown branches of plants and tree to increase the new growth if we talk about its benefit then there are many benefits of pruning process like pruning of dried and infested branches help a plant to be safe from infection pruning promotes new growth and also help a plant and tree in the production yield pruning help us to keep our plant and tree in the desired shape and size Also pruning help a plant to get sufficient amount of sunlight to make its food. Overall pruning is the good practice to maintain the good growth of plants and tree. So in this video we will explain some of the most important details of pruning process and these details are applicable for plants and trees like hibiscus, rose, tulsi, curry leaf, money plant, jasmine plant, mogra plant, bougainvillea plant and hydrangea plant. so please do not skip this video till the end so let us start with some of the wrong practices of the pruning process and here we will also cover that why we should avoid these wrong practices to keep our plant and tree safe so please see this first picture of the wrong pruning process in this picture you can see that the pruning cut is too flat and if we do pruning like this then at the time of watering this cut will hold the water on the flat surface and our branch bud will start rot so we should always avoid this wrong practice of pruning process now please see the second picture of the wrong practice and in this picture you can see that the pruning cut is angular but the angle direction is towards the growing bud and due to this the water will roll down over the bud and it will start rot so we should also avoid this type of wrong practice of pruning process now let's see this third example of the wrong practice and in this picture you can see that the cut is angular and opposite to the bud direction but it is too closer to our growing bud and due to this close cut the branch bud will not get proper nutrient and dry quickly so we should also avoid this wrong practice of pruning process now let's see another picture of the wrong pruning example and in this picture you can see that the cut is angular and opposite to the bud direction but it is too far away from the growing bud due to this the cut will take long time to heal and die back problem may start and our plant and tree branch will start drying so we should also avoid this wrong practice of pruning process and after explaining the wrong practices now we will explain the right practice of the pruning process and here you can see the right example in this picture you can see that the cut is angular and opposite to the bud direction also it is neither too close nor too far from the growing bud and due to this the water will not accumulate near the bud area and easily run off also the proper distance of cut will help to flow the nutrients toward the growing bud and the bud will grow fast so we should always follow this right method of pruning process to keep our plants and trees safe and healthy now let's look one more example when we need to prune more than one branches which are attached with main stem so in this case also we need to follow all these points and make a right cut which we have shown in this example so friends these were the most important details of pruning process which we must follow at the time of doing this i hope this information will help you 
and for any further query you can write us in comments box and we will try to answer you soon thank you and have a nice day